So the other, the, the big difference are that all the W models are white, no more silver models. Um, all the models can become self-powered. So you always buy the passive model and then you can just plug inside the small amplifier. That works like before, so 24 volts amplifier, same power, same SPL, but it's just a plug-in. Uh, all models have a double impedance, a selectable impedance, 8 or 32 ohms, that you can just change with a wiring on the connector, so depending on the amplifier that you have to use. Uh, all the models, but the ones with the lights, are IP54, that can be installed in outdoor, under the rain, with no problems. We changed the transducer, so the sound quality is improved, they sound better down to 150 Hz, they sound smoother. The LEDs are better, are improved and are brighter, almost double. Still RGB. Uh, improved finishing, it means that it's uh, more rugged, uh, more resistant to dust, uh, to powder, easier to clean and uh, really harder to scratch. Dimensions are different, so you have to take care of it, especially if you already uh, design a project. These are slightly bigger, slightly different from the old uh, KT20. This is the amplifier that you can plug inside in something big like this, our style, let's say. It looks like the amplifier of the lizard. Um, as I already said, it's the same power of the old ones, so the power supply are the same. This works really well also at 12 volts. The age at the end of the code is stays for mid eyes, so it means that we have in mind to create also a version for the full range okay. application or for the voice uh, if you have to use the tornado for PA speech applications. This is the new Lizard, uh, the KZ12. It's exactly the same as the old one, so the same dimension, the same silver color in this case. Uh, we had work on the transducers so that it's uh, more than 3 dB louder than the old ones and we improve the sound quality, same story, so it goes much better in the mid lows than the old ones. Um, compatible with all the amplifiers, there are two cable terminals included so that it's easier to connect, uh, same impedance, uh, Consider that there, are, there will be KZ12 presets, so they are not compatible in sound. You can adjust replace in parallel on the same line of the old KZ10. Here are the new Anaconda, the KN200 Plus. Actually, what we did is to double the number of the transducers inside, so the result is that it is 6 dB louder. Uh, usable especially if you have to make front feel in live situation now it's louder definitely uh, you can listen it is down there it maintains the same flexibility of the old ones uh, and all the good characteristics that made a great success of the KN200 in this year uh, still IP54 uh, 32 ohms is 10 and 64 uh, it can work uh, even uh, with the preset of the KN200, but there will be preset dedicated to the KN200 Plus, especially to be able to reach uh, uh, the maximum SPL that, it can, that she can deliver. This is the new framework, a few screenshots. Uh, uh, it will be available in beta in these days for who wants to try it. Actually, it's mainly um, a user interface upgrade, so everything is bigger, it's easier to understand, it's more, uh, let's say, plug and play, uh, drag and drop, especially for the group functions, uh, all those things are much, much nicer. You can use at the same time the KV1, the Piccolo, the Redline, uh, and the new amplifiers will be included as well. These are the new amplifiers. Most interesting 
was funny fight. Uh, four independent channels, four input, four output. Uh, the 24 is going to replace all the mid and small range, and the 84 is the big brother of the KA40. There are four analog inputs, two more channels of ASIVO in digital, like on the red line, uh, a DSP output that can be used to send out mono summing of all the inputs, and the digital output, plus all the link out. All the analog input can become microphone inputs and have phantom power. This is because we are uh, thinking to use it as a all-in-one solution that you can use as a small mixer, especially in the medium and small size installation for, uh, let's think about our worship or uh, conference room, uh, just two microphone player and there is enough capability in the DSP to manage everything. There is a, an, an analog GPIO port where you can connect remote potentiometer that we already have in the, in the price list to control input output volumes uh, programmable via software. Out of the box uh, there will be a bunch of pre-made uh, device presets like uh, KZ10 and KU36 or Cobra and KMT etc. But what's interesting is that you can create your own configuration. So you can select what you need on every channel. There is also the possibility to adjust the levels automatically independently from what you have. So you can combine a Lizard with a KMT18 and ask to the software to balance the level so that they sound uh, flat. Otherwise, if you like bass, <laughs> you can leave it uh, off. And the same at the opposite, so if you have a Python with a small sub uh, and you want to have the flat frequency response to listen good music, you can adjust automatically the, the levels and the power. These are a few examples. Uh, standard, left and right, top and sub. The two channels that can be completely independent and go directly to drive the monitor. Small mixer application where you have two microphone a player that goes out to the, the top and sub uh, left and right system and uh, the addition of the potentiometer is to control the volumes. So let's say that's all more or less. We have all these products uh, here at the booth. If you have any question, I will be here until Saturday night. So I'm available to answer any question. Thanks everybody. Have fun for the in a few minutes we will have food and drinks and music. Bye bye.